Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Good? We're good. I think you must be Shields employees over here. Is that right? Welcome, and thank you for the great job that you do. And you're about to have a little more elbow room, you know? <laughs> I want to, uh, first of all, introduce two people who are here with me today to deliver some of this very positive news for our city. Uh, Steve Shield, who is the C CEO of Shields, and Jeff McMahon, who is the managing partner of Red Development LLC, right? Uh, which is the owner of South Point Pavilions. Uh, and before I forget, I, I want to make a special thank you to the city staff, Mike Lang, uh, and several people and several of our departments who've worked very hard uh, with Shields uh, to make this project happen. And I also want to thank the Chamber of Commerce and Wendy Birdso who's here today for their support of this project. Lincoln's economic development momentum continues. And once again, a public-private partnership will lead the way on a project that will inject over $100 million in new investment into our local economy. Shields is moving forward with a major store expansion here at South Point Pavilions. This existing store will be replaced with a new 220,000 square feet state-of-the-art flagship store, which will be located uh, just east of this location. The expansion will create a new tourist attraction and a retail shopping experience that is unique to our, to our region. Family-friendly amenities like a Ferris wheel, a large aquarium, sports simulators, and an exhibit of United States presidents will draw tens of thousands of new visitors to South Point each year. This new venue will be three times the size of this store. We anticipate that many people who would have traveled to Omaha or to Kansas City for a similar experience will now instead choose Lincoln. With its new combination of top quality goods and family entertainment, the new Shield store will become a must-see destination for residents and visitors alike. Shields is planning to invest $84 million in this expansion, creating up to 500 jobs in the construction trades as the structure is constructed. The increased valuation of the newly expanded store will drive new property tax revenues for the school districts, for the city, and for the county. Once completed, the new, completed, the new store will add up to 50 new good-paying jobs bringing the total Shields employment in Lincoln up to around 130 full-time and about 200 part-time jobs. Good new jobs keep our economy strong. Retail spending from visitors to Lincoln is also a strong economic driver. Shields already draws an enormous portion of its retail base from outside Lincoln. Currently, about 38% of all Shields sales are from outside Lincoln and outside Lancaster County. This percentage is expected to increase after the new flagship store is opened, thereby increasing new spending in our community and creating new sales tax dollars that will strengthen the city's budget. And let's not forget the fun. Shields was voted the most, the best sporting goods store by Sports Illustrated Kids, and for good reason. You can buy a baseball glove anywhere, but Shields' flagship store may be the only place where you can buy a baseball glove, ride a Ferris wheel, and snack on an ostrich sandwich. I gotta try that ostrich sandwich. <laughs> Construction of the store is scheduled to begin in November of 2016 with plans to open in 
uh, November of 2018, right on time for the holiday shopping season of that year. The project will keep the owners and the managers of South Point Pavilions very, very busy. Michaels will be moving into a new store and Dress Barn and Famous Footwear will be relocated to other spaces in the shopping center area prior to construction. And a new Valentino's is scheduled to open in South Point next spring. The City of Lincoln is proud to be a partner to make this project a success. With a new store of this size comes the need for more parking. The owners of South Point and representatives of Shields approached the city about building a public parking garage at South Point using a, finance, a financing tool uh, that Lincoln has not previously used. This tool, encouraged by state law, shifts the burden of paying for the public parking garage away from city taxpayers to those who will benefit from the improvements. The tool allows us to essentially implement a user fee. The first step for the city is to create what is called an enhanced employment area at South Point. Once it has been established, state law allows the retail establishments in the area to assess a 1% occupation tax to fund construction of a $19 million public parking garage. Food and beverage sales would be excluded from the assessment. The public ends up with a new parking facility with a thousand spaces without investing taxpayer dollars. It's a win-win for everyone. There will be no charge for shoppers to use the garage, which will also include some uh, retail space. The $103 million total investment represents one of the largest public-private development projects in the history of the city. It brings hundreds of construction jobs, up to 50 new good-paying retail jobs, and new retail spending to further drive the economy. These are the benefits that make the Shields Project such a great investment for the community. I would like to personally thank uh, Steve and Jeff both. Uh, they've been great to work with. They've made great contributions to this city in so many ways already. Uh, and at this time, I would like to invite both of them uh, to speak. Steve? Thank you. Well said. Well said. Well, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I think you about covered it all. I'll take questions. No, <laughs> just kidding. When we designed this store, you know, th this store opened in 2000. And we designed this store in 1997. At that time, wow, we thought, uh, we'll get this thing built, 77,000 square feet. Uh, we'll be set for the next 25, 30 years. How short-sighted we were. Uh, our new stores range from 200,000 to 220,000 square feet, uh, even up to 250,000 square feet. But I'll tell you what I told the people in Johnstown, Colorado. Johnstown, Colorado is our next new store. We just started construction this week out there. We'll open in uh, September 27th of 2017, a year before the Lincoln store. But I was meeting with the city council and the mayor in, uh, in Johnstown uh, when they decided if they wanted Shields or not. Uh, they had been to our store in Omaha. They'd been to our store in Des Moines. They'd studied Shields pretty closely. And uh, uh, we were negotiating uh, a package with the city and, and the location of the city. And I said, there are really five things that set our new Shields stores apart. Number one, no one else in the country is building stores like we're building. We're a private company. We'll take a short-term hit for long-term gain. Uh, and when a person drives up to a 220,000 square foot shield store that's three times the size of this and sees the 21 foot life size sculptures of a young gal on a snowboard and a fly fisherman and an elk hunter and an archer, they drive up and it just, something in their mind says, this place is special. 
Then they walk inside, and they walk inside through a 16,000 gallon aquarium filled with coral reefs and tropical fish, where a scuba diver feeds the fish every evening at five o'clock, and the families and the kids, young and old, gather around. Then they ride the Ferris wheel. Then they go in the restaurant, and we don't serve ostrich sandwiches anymore. They weren't a big hit, but we do have elk, and we do have fish. Uh, and the restaurants are first class. We serve fresh fudge. Uh, we serve fresh gelato. We fly it in uh, to our stores, our gelato. Uh, so our restaurants are very unique. Uh, they shoot in our shooting galleries. They sit in the Jeeps and have pictures taken of them. And what we, decide, what we, what we found out when we put these attractions in the stores, uh, the trees are nice, but the trees just basically stand there and make us different. The Ferris wheel brings a store to life. Uh, young and old alike love Ferris wheels. We had an incident in one of our stores where, uh, where uh, a couple older than my wife and I came up and told the Ferris wheel operator, this is our 60th wedding anniversary. Will you please stop the Ferris wheel at the top so I can give my wife a kiss? Not only did he stop the Ferris wheel at the top and give his wife a kiss, but he announced to the whole store on Saturday that it was his 60th wedding anniversary, and the whole store just came alive and clapped, and uh, the Ferris wheel is something special. Uh, we also have our third point is we have the largest inventory of anyone in our, in our business. Uh, we stock 2.2 million items in real time as we roll through five seasons from spring to summer to fall to winter to holiday. Uh, our competition normally has in the neighborhood of 450,000 to 650,000 items. So if you can need it for sporting goods other than maybe bullfighting equipment, uh, we have it at Shields. So it's, it's, it's the size of the store, the magnitude of the store, and then you drive up, which will bring people from a lot further distance away than this little store to bring people. It's the attractions, it's the Disneyland of sporting goods once you get inside. It's the 2.2 million items that the new store will stock as you roll through the year. And we also pride ourselves as the best customer service in retail. A lot of cities have best, in Fargo we have best of the Valley. There's the best of Des Moines, there's best of Billings. For 14 years running, we have won best customer service in fargo Moher. We win it in Des Moines, we win it in Billings. We pride ourselves in, in paying our employees well, the highest in retail, and in giving them incredible training so they actually know what they're talking about when you come in and talk to them. And you can't believe how unique that is in retail this year. Uh, and then the last piece of the puzzle is we give back to the local communities. Last year we gave back over $10 million of our profits to uh, the local communities in which we do business. And of course, the better we do, uh, the more we're able to give back to cities like Lincoln. Uh, we anticipate that this new store uh, will hold customers probably on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday 45 minutes to an hour longer than this store holds customers. And when you hold customers for 45 to a minute, hour longer, uh, the shopping baskets just start to fill up. The shopping carts just start to fill up. They spend more. So we're looking for not only a beautiful new store, but we're looking for nice sales volume increases. Uh, in our company, we, our philosophy is we're either going forward or we're falling back. There is no plateau. We've just about got to that plateau in this store, and we decided as a group it was time to spend 80 to $85 million to build a new facility so that uh, once again, we can be moving forward in Lincoln. Uh, we don't have to worry about our business. We'll be solid right here in South Point. We love this location, Lincoln, and, uh, and we're just excited to get open in 2018. So thank you very much. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, thanks uh, for coming out to this great announcement. We're very, very excited to be here. Um, I'm, I'm from Kansas City, born and raised in Lincoln, so I like coming back up here. This is a, a great opportunity for me personally, but also for our company. And I bring that uh, Kansas City detail to your attention because, as was mentioned, this is their new flagship store. And it was just recently opened in Kansas City in June. And if you ever have a chance to get down there uh, while we're constructing this one to see it and, and see what you have to look forward to, I would encourage you to do that. It's, a, it's an unbelievable store. Uh, Steve and the, and the mayor did a great job of talking about it in detail, but you can see from the photographs how, uh, how wonderful this, uh, this is. I'd also like to take an opportunity um, not only to thank the mayor for his leadership and his vision, uh, but also uh, city staff. Uh, we've been working over the, 
uh, it's, hard, it's hard to believe, but we've actually came up with this idea. Steve Shield came up with this idea a couple of years ago. And uh, when he brought it to our attention, we knew that this was a great opportunity, not only for our project, but for the community to have a flagship store here in Lincoln. Uh, and so we want to thank the staff for being so patient with us and working for, uh, with us on the project very, in a very professional way. I also want to take a minute to thank um, our partners at, at, at RED. Um, there are many partners in here that, um, you don't, that don't get the limelight. I want to thank them for all their cooperation as well. Our tenants, um, it takes a tremendous amount of cooperation from our tenants um, to make something like this happen. And our own employees, our um, um, general manager, marketing directors uh, as well. So it's a it's got to be thousands of people that work together to put together a, a project like this. So we're, we're thankful for all of them. Um, real quickly, I thought I'd touch uh, just on the, the layout. There may be some technical or some questions about, um, uh, about the project, and I encourage you to look at the site plans here. But this is the site plan of uh, South Point. Um, and uh, what we're talking about is keeping the existing shields in business um, throughout the, the course of the construction. It's located in this spot right here while the new shields is under construction. Once that transition has taken place over into the new building, the existing building you're standing in today will be demolished and then will be replaced partially by some new retail shops and the parking garage that the mayor uh, had mentioned. Um, so that's going to be about a uh, four-year project. Um, shields will open in fall of 2018 in their new store the parking garage the year after that in 2019 and uh, some uh, small retail building then to follow in uh, 2020. So uh, seems like a long time but it goes quickly and I, I can say that because I worked on this shopping center when it was first built back in the late 90s and when this was all a cornfield and so it's hard to believe how far um, Lincoln has grown and, and uh, the vitality of this intersection uh, since the late 1990s when this project was first envisioned. So um, I won't uh, go on any further. I encourage you to, to look at the, um, the, photo or the uh, renderings we have here. I think it's a beautiful store. Again, it's very similar to their new one in Kansas City. And um, with that, thank you all for coming. And um, have a good day. Questions? I'll just make one comment. Actually, it'll be a step up from Kansas City. Sorry about that. <laughs> in, in every new store we build, we try to do something just to take it to the next level. And uh, we're going to take Johnstown, Colorado to the next level in 2017. And we've got some plans for this that uh, will maybe take it a bit before the, above the 84 million. But we'll have some things in this store when it opens that no other shield store, no other retail store in the country has ever had. So it's going to be exciting. Fantastic. Yeah. It's great. Lincoln's has just been an incredible community. We know when, it, when, you, when you have four levels of government, when you've got the city and the county and the state and the federal government, and you've got a university like uh, Nebraska has, it's just, it's going to be here forever. Uh, the economy may go a little bit this way, a little bit this way, but when the economy really struggled, you know, seven, eight, nine years ago, we didn't have any problem up and down I-29, uh, and Lincoln was part of that. It's just, it, the economy stayed strong, and. Uh, uh, if, if we're going to stay in Lincoln, uh, this isn't the first time we've left an old store to build a new store because I think we owe it to our people. We're an ESOP. Uh, the best thing we can do long term for our career people and for our company is to keep us state of the art. And in Lincoln, this may look state of the art to the customers, it looks old fashioned to us. So we had to, to, to do something you know, for them and our company to make sure long term we're set in Lincoln. You know, I probably should have mentioned that not only did they treat their employees well, uh, but they do what they say they're going to do in terms of helping the community. Uh, I don't know how many of you are aware that uh, that Shields made a half a million dollar contribution to City Impact uh, some time ago. Uh, so they. They do what they say they're going to do. They, they contribute to the community, and it's a great thing. Anything else? Good to go? Cool. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.